Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie. I'm a lead GP and a senior university clinical educator. In this video, we are going to discuss asthma management based on BTS guideline 2019. We will explore stepwise approach to asthma management, how to assess, monitor and escalate treatment. We'll discuss different inhaler device and explain MARD regimen. Coming right up. The aim of asthma management is the control of the condition, including no daytime symptom, no nighttime awakening due to asthma, no need for rescue medication, no asthma attack, no limitation of activities including exercise, minimum side effect for medication, and normal lung function which in practice can be demonstrated by peak flow of more than 80% predicted. During an asthma review, assessed for a baseline status using a validated questionnaire such as a CT or three question RCP questionnaire and I will leave you a link in the description below. Review asthma diagnosis at each review if the patient has poor control despite an adequate treatment. Provide the patient with a personalized action plan. Update vaccination including flu and pneumococcal vaccination. Discuss trigger avoidance which may include dust, dump, pet and pollen. If it is appropriate, discuss smoking cessation and weight loss. Provide a peak flow meter and explain the patient how to use as part of a personalized action plan. Initiate and escalate treatment as necessary and step down treatment if the symptom is well controlled for over three months. Delivery device for inhaled medication include dry powder inhaler or DPI and pressurized meter dose inhaler or MDI which is an aerosol device. Aerosol device requires slow and steady inspiration while dry powder inhaler require quick deep inspiration. So when considering prescribing an inhaler device consider patient preference and patient's ability to use the inhaler. Incheck device is a device that can be used to coach the patient to use the inhaler correctly. It can be used to assess inspiratory flow which helps selecting the appropriate device based on the patient's technique. Right Breathe website is a website that can be used to help supporting inhaler choice and technique and I will leave you the link in the description below. A spacer such as Aero Chamber Plus should always be given to patient on MDI. It increases the proportion of the drug being delivered into the airway and reduces the amount of drug being deposited in the oropharynx. Now let's discuss stepwise approach to asthma management. Step 1 and 2. Prescribe a short-acting beta-2 agonist, SABA, as a reliever as required. It has a rapid onset within 15 minutes and lasting up to 4 hours. Recommended SABA inhalers, which is usually prescribed as 2 puff when required, are Sabutamol MDI Aerosol Inhaler Sabutamol Easy Breathe Aerosol Inhaler, which is a breath actuated inhaler an aerosol EC inhaler, which is a dry powder inhaler. Then prescribe an inhaled corticosteroid ICS as a preventer inhaler. Clenial 100 MDI aerosol inhaler, two puff twice a day. Qvar 50 aerosol, which is a breath actuated inhaler, two puff twice a day. Then we have a Beclomethasone 200 EC inhaler, which is a DPI, one puff twice a day. Step 3. If the asthma is not controlled with the low dose ICS, 
consider an add-on therapy. First, recheck adherence technique and trigger avoidance. In addition to low-dose ICS, offer leukotriene receptor antagonist LTRA, such as Montelukas 10 mg, which is often taken at night and review the patient at four to eight weeks. It can be particularly useful in patients with known atopic condition, and we think it is effective up to 20% of patients. Step four, if asthma remains uncontrolled, offer a combination inhaler of ICS and long-acting beta-2 agonist inhaler, LAVA. Montelukast can be continued if the patient has some benefit and stop if the patient have no improvement. Recommended combined ICS LABA inhaler are Foster 106 aerosol inhaler, one puff twice a day. And Foster next inhaler dry powder, 106, one puff twice a day. Maintenance and reliever therapy or MAD can be used with a Foster inhaler. This is a type of asthma treatment using the same one inhaler, both as a reliever and a preventer. Foster works as it has a steroid preventer and for motoral bronchodilator reliever that works quickly and long acting, keeping the airway open. MART regimen can be useful and easier in some patients as the patient can continue using the same Foster inhaler twice a day as a maintenance and also using this as a reliever when required. Step 5. If the asthma remains uncontrolled with low-dose ICS and Montelukast, you want to increase the inhaler to a moderate dose. Recommended inhalers are Foster 106 MDI aerosol inhaler two puff twice a day, Foster next inhaler dry powder inhaler 106 two puff twice a day, and then we have Rova Elliptor 9222 dry powder one puff once a day. Step six. If the asthma still remains uncontrolled, consider referral to asthma clinic in secondary care. You can also consider referral patient who has more than two asthma attacks per year. Additional treatment by asthma clinic may include high dose maintenance steroid such as Foster inhaler 206, Rovar inhaler 184, 22. Spireva and Alvesco inhaler. There are some additional uh, management uh, points that I want to add. One, pregnant women should have the same similar uh, management of asthma. Two, urgent asthma review should be considered in patients requiring more than six prescriptions of sabutamol inhaler per year, or more than one sabutamol inhaler per month or those patients requiring more than two courses of prednisolone per year. Three, be mindful that those patients who are smoker or ex-smoker may require higher dose of ICS. Four, generic prescription of asthma inhaler should be avoided to prevent the patient being unfamiliar with the asthma inhaler device. In the future video, we will discuss management of asthma in children and also explore uh, management of acute asthma. Thank you for watching this video and uh, why don't you check out another video I made on the asthma diagnosis based on BTS guideline 2019. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my GPT Academy channel and until next time.